spoken with the Prime Minister, hosting the leaders of the Pacific Island Forum in Washington. My name is... Can America rebuild its crumbling economy, part three? The shadows of slavery in the US today. Joe Biden, the President of America, shared his blue-collar blueprint in his State of the Union address. Can Biden's efforts help rebuild the American economy? From exploring Biden's economic plans to understanding how the US was built, we explore America's history in this four-part series. But first, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such content in the future. Push the bell icon to receive updates every time we upload a video. Please find the link to part 1 and 2 in the description. Biden, in his State of the Union address, expressed his aspiration to see through his new economic plans to rebuild America. However, it is not going to be an easy task. America was built on slavery, the roots of which can still be seen today. Biden took to his Twitter handle and shared his thoughts. This is what he mentioned. My economic plan is a blue-collar blueprint to rebuild America. It's for you. While Biden wants to bring about a change in America, he first has to fight with the shadows of slavery in the US prevalent today. An article published by Glenn C. Laurie and published on Brookings mentions what can rightly be called the original sin. Slavery has left an indelible imprint on our nation's soul. A terrible price had to be paid in a tragic calamitous civil war before this new democracy could be rid of that most undemocratic institution. But for black Americans, the end of slavery was just the beginning of our quest for democratic equality. Another century would pass before the nation came fully to embrace that goal. Even now, millions of Americans, recognizably of African descent, languish in societal backwaters. What does this say about our civic culture? 